I'm Gemini. This is Gemini, a robot with dual personalities. First, Gemini stands as a self-balancing cutie. He remains level when driving forward, backward, standing still, and making turns. Gemini is able to record and play up to 15 seconds of audio. Hayuta, we have a problem. Hayuta, we have a problem. You can even get Gemini to transform your voice with dozens of fun. Jumping jellyfish. Jumping jellyfish. Gemini also comes with music playing and dancing functions. There's more. Gemini can express any emotion you can think of. Draw your own or write a message and get Gemini to deliver them. That's why we made Tingbot, a small compact kit for the pie that makes it that bit funny. So what can you do with Tingbot? Well, you could create a surf cam feed so you never miss out on the big waves. A games console for all your nostalgia needs. A gift messenger to share little moments with your friends. A MIDI effects controller for your guitar. A one hit pizza button. A new best friend. <laughs> a live stream of your pig. What we're trying to say is pretty much anything you can think of. We're a small team of designers and developers with a passion for making things. With a wide range of backgrounds and interests, we all want to do different things with the Raspberry Pi. So we developed our own hardware and software to make the Raspberry Pi exciting, engaging, and simple as fudge. Hello Internet, my name is Kevin King, founder of Plum Geek, and I'm here today to introduce our newest robot, Wink. Wink was created with one idea in mind. We wanted to create the easiest robot ever for teaching kids to write code. Wink can do all the fun things you'd want to do with an educational robot. Light seeking is easily done using the three ambient light sensors across the front of the robot. In this lesson, students will learn how to read sensors and use variables and make decisions based on those variables. Wink has four sensors along its nose that allow for high speed line following and edge detection. Barrier and obstacle detection is also possible using an infrared headlight. The code that allows Wink to navigate this maze is a lot simpler than you think. Lots of kids have played with graphical programming systems like Scratch. These graphical languages are great for teaching kids the basics of program flow in an easy and non-intimidating way. But taking the next step into writing actual code can be kind of intimidating, or at least that's the perception. We created Wink to solve this. We designed a robot that's fun and interactive that can be programmed using really simple functions. If you can understand the graphical functions in Scratch, then you'll be able to understand our written functions to control Wink. Along with the Wink robot, we're designing a 15 lesson series that'll take students from the very basics of writing code all the way through the core concepts and the foundation of the C language. The lessons will be accompanied by intro videos that'll allow teachers of school and workshop events to begin teaching right away, even if they don't have any coding experience. The lesson plan's designed to engage students eight years and older. Younger kids can also learn with the help of a grown up. Every example of every lesson is accompanied by working source code, so kids can jump right in and start learning and customizing. 